Annie, I'm about to do a sample here for you. I'm answering your um, request. No, I do not have a video um, with pinch pleat, interlining and buckram. But I have done it in the past and I found that it is so bulky, I decided to eliminate the, the um, buckram. But here, you can see that I've got prepared a little demonstration because I'm not going to be making one. And, and I've just sewn this together up here. Quick, so I can do a quick demonstration. There's a bit of interlining here. So I'm going to put that in. So what I'm going to do for you is to show you the reason why I eliminate it and tell you why you should eliminate, eliminate it if you can. It looks nice and strong with the buckram in, but in the long run, it's going to be hell. So there you can see i put the interlining in and I'm not going to stitch this up. I'm just going to go through the motion. All right. So I'm going to pin this and then I'm going to just pinch it. Here you can see that I have pinned it up, right? So everything is ready to go as if you're going to sew it. So you could either... Um, yeah, so that's it. So you can see it's nicely pinned up. Actually, let's turn it this way for you. And now I'm gonna just um, gonna pleat it. So now, Annie, as I said, I've got my little machine out for I wasn't gonna sew, but I thought let me just make it a little bit more interesting right, for you. So what I've done is I've marked most people when they do pinch pleat, they do it at five inches. So I've done this at five inches, but I don't really use the five inches. I think they look a bit puny. I like to use six inches or seven inches, and the gap may be five inches, right? So but most people to make it it simpler to work with and do less calculation they do five inches going all the way along and at the end they cut off what they don't need and they get the size that way but so we'll do this so as you can see now I, I pinned it and the inside you can see the interlining and the buckram is inside I've just pinned the lining down so what I'm going to do now is fold it. So what happened is, depending on the size of your interlining is where you get um, a bit of a problem, which it makes it so thick, right? And now we're using a domestic machine, which makes it even more difficult to do this stuff. So I'm just going to roughly do five inches. And this is how... Um, because people say, you know, you don't use tape measures and so on. Here's a tape measure. I've used it, right? There's the five inches. The five inches is done here, right? So uh, the experience of doing it so, so much over the years, I don't need to draw a line because what I do is I fold it at the five inches and I can either feel the crease inside or see the markings here to draw the line. So I will stitch it. So here we have the five inches one and normally I open this up and I equally fine it at this equal just comes naturally 
and underneath underneath the buckram you don't sew on the buckram now underneath the buckram right here I've got the interlining the thickness of it as well right so if if it went all the way down the thickness will be all the way down this is where you will come unstuck sometime depending on the 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 weight of your interlining um, it they vary and this is a skinny one it will be fatter so that's where the problem of actually going back underneath the machine you will have a problem and this is where most people will do it by hand but when the quantity that I go through, I haven't got time to do all these by hand. That's why my industrial machine, I've got two industrial machines. One where it's just normal clothing and the other one is specially for curtains. The, the foot here actually lifts up higher so that it can actually go under this and do this saving time so this machine now will be on a darn you put it on a darn stitch and just because believe you me with carpal tunnel syndromes which i've had both the operations on you just cannot do all that so this is your interlined one so i've done two so let me do another one these are five inches apart um that's how it's done and quite honestly it's no different from doing it without the buckram and the interlining it's just what type of machine have you got to manage the thickness and this is a cotton fabric so that will make it easy can you imagine now if you're using um um in, in not embroidered ones it's, not silk, silk is thin. What can I use? Just a heavyweight fabric. It will be so much harder and painful. There you are. There is two of them, five inches apart, but I like to do them fatter usually. There they are. Underneath, let me show you. There's your interlining, there's your buckram, and there's your sample, Annie. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for loving my work. And um, I hope this answers any of your questions. Any more, feel free. And I'll see what I can do for you. And that is any more questions. All right? Thank you. Bye.